Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to go for the week ahead analysis, we're going to go over the news and some charts of interest. So jumping straight into the news, we can see that we have lots of data throughout this week including some data throughout the UK, Canada and the US. Um, however, I think the market is going to be focused more into Wednesday, we can see that we have a rate decision from the RBNZ looking to hike interest rates from 4.25% to 4.75%. That's quite an aggressive hike. That's a 50 basis points hike trying to control that inflation rate. The FMC meeting minutes will then be something of interest for us um, in the US. Obviously, the data out of the US has been quite strong at the moment. So have the FOMC discussed that in the meeting minutes and have they uh, discussed anything around hiking rates for further and longer? That could then see the dollar uh, push to the upside. Now on Monday, we do have a bank holiday in the US and Canada, so the US session may be a little bit light uh, for volume. And towards the end of the week, we have a um, bank holiday in Japan as well. So that's just something to note. The strength meter has changed quite drastically. I did say it's kind of lagging behind at the moment. Now the US dollar is the strongest currency and uh, the weakest is the Japanese yen. So dollar yen long still look good. We saw that last week. We were talking about longs on dollar yen. However, prices come into a bit of a resistance at the moment, which I'll go through in a second. Going on to Euro US dollar then, so why would we be looking at this? Well, I think the one thing that interests me about the major currency pairs at the moment is the fact that Friday's close has been quite bullish on most of the majors. Does that suggest that maybe we could see another rally to the upside potentially? However, I still would remain sure on Euro US dollar as long as it stayed below this high here at the 1.0775. I think if we can remain below that area, it would be good to continue to look for opportunities to, da to the downside. However, I do think maybe we'll have a couple of days of a pullback and then maybe if price was to try through these lows, for instance, or reject up at the 1.0775, we might come back down towards the low here at 1.050. So definitely something to consider there for Euro dollar. Aussie US dollar is quite similar. Uh, we can see that we came, came close to the 200 moving average again. Nice close on Friday and what I mean by a nice close is the fact that we've rejected this zero spot 68.75 level again and prices climbed back to the upside so I'd expect Monday to see a bit of decline still if however we start to form a um, higher low on like a four hour time frame that could suggest that Aussie US dollar could start moving higher We've got trend line resistance to contend with and we've got the highs at zero spot 71. However, if the dollar was to continue to get strong, we've got this trend line resistance coming through or support, I should say, and the zero spot 6650 handle um, to have a little look at. Dollar yen then, so dollar yen played out really nicely last week. We came up into the 134 spot 50 high. We've rejected here. If we get a bit of, of a pullback here, we could see the market move back towards these highs at 133. If we were rejected at around 133, we could be looking for longs again. I think we may want to wait for price to come above the 134.50 before looking for further long ideas, um, just because it'll be a bit of a safer option. Finally then, on gold, gold formed a really nice strong close on Friday as well in at this demand zone, around about the 18.20 handle. If price does find some support here and we move back towards the previous structure lows and the dollar continues to strengthen, we could then see a continuation down to the $1,800, which is where I think the price of gold is likely to end up over this next sort of uh, few weeks to months. So... Still looking for some downside. Doesn't mean price can't move to the upside in the meantime. We may get that pullback, like I said, so do be aware of that. Maybe Wednesday with the FOMC meeting minutes could kick that dollar strength back into gear again, and we could see another move to the downside. So keep your eye on that this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some of our Forex trading content, and I'll speak to you in the next video.